What is up, YouTube world? This is Eric Stone. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aspiring Music Writer, A-S-P-I-R-I-N-G, Music Writer. Please share, like, comment, dislike, I don't care. Um, suggest. Uh, this video is going to be a short video. Uh, it's uh, two... Singles from a guy named Jason Kyle Wickens. He's a new guy out of uh, Dallas, uh, Texas area. He's real uh, traditional country. Uh, give him a like, Jason Kyle W I C K E N S, and uh, he has two singles out from last year on uh, digital platform Spotify iTunes, Google Play, uh, anywhere else. Um, <clears throat> but he's originally from Red Oak. And I think, or he lives in Denton now, which is about, uh, Red Oak's about 20 miles from Dallas. Um, but he, if you, uh, he's, uh, influenced by like Marty Robbins, uh, let me see, Jason Boland and the Stragglers, uh, uh, artists like that. Uh, but he recorded these two. Uh, the first one, well, it was these two singles recorded at um, Audio Dallas Studios in Garland, Texas. And it was produced by a guy named Paul Osborne. And he used session mus uh, musicians. He didn't use his ba live band that he has now. Uh, Jeremy Matheny w played lead and rhythm guitar. Pete Miller was the bassist. Milo Deering played still guitar, and I love the still guitar. That and the saxophone are my two favorite instruments to hear. And then Josh Rogers played drums. Uh, but the first one he come out with was... A song dubbed Can't Let Her Go, and he wrote it by himself. It was released on June 20th of 2022, last year. It's four minutes and 14 seconds. It's a slow country, just a beer-drinking, lonely song. Uh, I love these type of songs. I'm real good at writing them. I know I'm getting a little bit off. I love to write songs like this. Uh, like I said, I love to still get tour in this. Um... Traditional country to me. Uh, he can, uh, To me, the song is about he stole this girl from another guy. And uh, it's painful, their relationship, but he can't let her go. He cannot move on without her, even though it's a bad relationship. Uh, that's what I get out of the song. Uh, Jason may think a little bit different, um, but it's a great, great song. Listen to it. Like I said, if you love Boland, if you love uh, Chad, Chad, sh sad songs, uh, you're going to love it. Um, if you love Texas country or country at all, I mean, it's real traditional sounding. Um And then on the second one, it's a song called Gone Like You. Uh, he co-wrote this song with a guy named Taylor Travis. He provided the chorus for the song. It was released on November 25th, 2022. Uh, it's also slow. It features that steel guitar. Uh, this is more to me of a Jason Bowen feel. And if you know... What I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You know, if you listen to music like I do, and it just got that, to me it was influenced a lot by Jason Boland. Um, I don't know if it was, I just get that. Um, but it's about a guy, he loses one girl, and then he ends up dating another girl, and in the, during the first verse, she won't tell her why she's sad and, you know, what's wrong. And he loves the booze and the honky-tonks and the 
bald on just a little bit more than her. He don't like it, but it's just that way. Well, during the second verse, she tells him what's wrong. Hey, you're drinking too much. You're uh, not paying attention enough to me. I think she leaves temporarily, and then he figures out later on during the ending of the song that he's messed up, and he learned his lesson, and he goes back to her, and he slows down on the drinking. I said, I love the ending because I was not expecting the ending to the song. Because, you know, a lot of sad songs are, um, they just stay sad. But this one, you know, it ends with a little bit of a happy ending. And it, to me, he learned his lesson. I mean, the guy in the song. Uh, but like I said, this is all for that video. I know it's a short video, but the, I love doing the singles because it's not a whole album. And I can get into a little bit more detail with the song. I love to dissect songs, that, you know, and it may be something totally different to you. Uh, that's what I love about music. A song can mean a hundred different things to a hundred different people. But like I said, if you love independent artists, support local and live music. Um, if you love Jason Boland and Marty Robbins and the older type songs in the Texas uh, singer songwriters, you're gonna love Jason Kyle Wickens. I uh, go check him out. Please do. You will not regret it. And I will see y'all later.